Hey, I'm Gus. And I'm still Luke, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to get, uh, I would say, the first real group of achievements in Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreamstone Dry. We've just been we've just been meddling in achievements. This is the first, like, real achievement. Real meat and potatoes. Uh, so this achievement is called Found Him. It's for finding uh, a dildo, which there are actually many dildos in this game, but this is for finding a very specific dildo. Wow. Um, you will find the Leisure Suite. Uh, you have to come here during the game. Uh, and there is a little dildo on top of that shelf right there in the upper right. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, when you first walk in, you have to talk to Dick. Uh, we will be dating this gentleman, so uh, take notes, everyone. Uh, but when you're done talking to him, uh, all you have to do is click on that dildo up there. Um, nothing will happen. Uh, Larry doesn't pick it up or anything, and there's no dialogue. But you will get the achievement. A uh, very easy 15 gamer score. Oh, a little hidden one. Yep. Um, also, while you're doing this, uh, while you're talking to Dick, um, he will tell you some things that you have to do to, in order to date him. Uh, the way this game is set up, um, while you're trying to date someone, you will get items for when you try and date someone else. So, achievement guides for this are going to be a little long um, and a little cut up, so just keep that in mind. Uh, there's going to be a lot of jumping around. Um, basically he wants you to, uh, he wants to take your picture. He wants to give you a better profile picture for your Timber app. Oh. Um, so in order to do that, you need to find the right location. <sighs> okay. So we're going to need some items. Let's talk about the items we're going to need. You need to go to this place. It's a cafe right across the street from the leisure suite. You'll talk to this lady. She will give you some posters. Ooh. Um, also, if you notice on that counter, there's some licorice. Uh, you will need to pick up that licorice. I don't do it in this video, but you will need to do that. All you need to do is click on it. Uh, so make sure you do that. Uh, so with posters in hand, come back to Lefty's Bar. Uh, we are going to go into the back room of Lefty's Bar, and we're going to place one of those posters that we got on a wall. That will break the wall, and it will reveal a skeleton. That what? skeleton has a golden tooth, and we need that golden tooth. So... Uh, that's the only thing we need from this area. Just make sure you grab this. Uh, it's very important for uh, something else later on. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of this sort of stuff going on. You know how it is. Point and click adventures and all that. Um, so there is, a, there is a very small portion of that's called gold tooth that you need to click on. Uh, uh, it's the tooth. If you click on the skeleton, it won't work. Um, okay, so with all that in hand, uh, let's come to the pier. And uh, if you walk back on the pier, you will notice there's kind of this thrift store area. If you keep walking to the back, there is a corn dog on the left. Pick up that corn dog. We will need it. Wow, that's, a, <laughs> that's pretty obscure. Um, also, that backdrop with the sunset is what we're going to end up getting. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, also, before you leave, come to this coin machine and use the gold tooth on it. It will turn the gold tooth into a gold coin. We will need that gold coin. <laughs> Here in a second. So what kind of Mordor quest? Yeah, yeah. This, bananas are we doing? This wow, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all that, we are going to uh, go back to uh, Lefty's bar uh, with the gold coin and the corn dog. We're going to go into the bathroom. We're going to insert both the corn dog and the gold coin into this little uh, old coin machine. Uh, make sure you put the corn dog in the. Uh, it's it says like slot, but it's right there. <laughs> Um, and you want to use the Szechuan sauce option on it. You want to cover the corn dog in Szechuan sauce. This will all make sense, I swear. This is all going to make sense here in a second. No, no, no. no. Um, so, uh, uh, gosh, I don't even remember what we do next. Szechuan corn dog. Okay, uh, we go back to the leisure suite. Uh, we talk to him. Uh, and, oh, and Dick says he can't take your picture there. Because as much as he wants to, because his ex is there. Oh. And so what we have, our mission is to get rid of the ex. That's what kind of all this stuff is in preparation okay. for. So he's um, deathly allergic to Szechuan corn dogs. No, actually? no. Oh. Okay, so these two people right here are who we need to get rid of. We're going to you. We're going to combine the gluten-free bread which we got at the cafe, which I did not show getting, but it's what you need to get. You just talk to the the barista gentleman. And you combine it with the beer dregs, the barbarian beer dregs, which is a quest item that you have to pick up. You get it. It's from, like, the tutorial mission. You combine those two things, and you give it to that pigeon over there. That pigeon will ascend into the heavens, and it will take a shit wow. in that lady's coffee, and she will leave. <laughs> See? It doesn't. It's all starting to make sense, doesn't it? 
I never do. So uh, once you do this, uh, a cutscene will play, um, and after that you will get the achievement, It Wasn't Me, uh, which I think is worth 15 gamer score. So we're at like 30 gamer score already. Just wow. an another 30 to for, go. Is this for getting the, the pigeon to poop? This is for getting the pigeon to poop. Yep. Wow, what a, Falls what in a cup. shot. He's got accuracy, what dude. What a shot. Uh, so the cutscene, I skipped it. Um, you will get the achievement. Uh, this is uh, Lance, I think his name is. Um, and he's all like, well, I'm not going to leave unless I had a corn dog covered in Szechuan sauce. Wow. So um, you give him the corn dog that we have preemptively covered in Szechuan sauce, and then he will leave. <laughs> um, and then Dick will show up, and he's like, oh, but we missed sunset. So the final piece of the puzzle is to get the sunset backdrop from the thrift store, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, I think another cutscene might play, uh, but none of that matters. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the leisure suite where we met Dick for the first time. Uh, now that he's out of the way, we can pick up a few items. Uh, which totally makes sense in order to Just naturally progress items. this story. This is actually, this is a, a weird game, because, like, some point-and-click adventure games make sense, but other ones are like, combine the diamond tiger eye into the statue back on level four to reveal the used diaper and throw that over the fence on level seven. That's what this kind of game yeah. is. Yeah, I never thought. I always wondered what the leisure suit suite of games was like, but... Uh... Here it is. Point and click. Uh, so now that we're back at the Leisure Suite, uh, you need to pick up that discount sign, and you can also pick up an old uh, dildo that smells like cheese. That is not needed for this necessary group of uh, achievements, but it is used later on, so oh, be on the lookout for that okay. video. But we do need that discount sign, that one that says like 2% or something. So now that we have those, uh, go back to the pier. Um, we are going to talk to the lady in charge of the thrift store, and we will be exchanging the discount sign for the backdrop. I don't know why. I don't know why that seems like a fair trade in her mind, but I don't ask questions. This is just how the a game is played. A trade, you know? uh, so say you want the photo panorama, blah, blah, blah. Once you have that, you can take it to Dick. Um, he will take your picture. That will improve your timber score, and you will get the achievement for a dating Dick. Um, there is another uh, story element later on in the game that involves Dick, but uh, we're not there yet. We need to date two other people uh, before oh, that. Uh, so in my next video, uh, I will show you how to date Aaron, and uh, which we didn't see in this video. And the next one after that will be date Lima, Lemma, Lem Lemma. Do um, you have to date them in order? Can you um, I think you can date them in an order, and then all their stories kind of converge at the end. Um, and then, and then you open up another like three or four people you can date that, after that. Uh, chasing each one of them, they come together to fight. Well, for an orgy, yeah, oh, oh. yeah. Um, so there is your date, Dick achievement, your tinder, your timber score. Sorry, skyrocketed. Um, and yeah, gosh, what a th this game is a lot of fun, but like, man, it's. It is difficult to figure out. It's a lot of, like, just throwing items at another item to see if it does anything. Good God. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it's, like, it's pretty well written. It's cute, and, like, I, I would not call it sexy. It is not a sexy game for as much as oh. it moonlights as one. Well, at least someone's here to put an achievement guide together yeah. for all this madness. Do, doing doing what the people want. I'm just I'm just a public servant, just Luke. This is Lord's just... Work. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we, we're done with that. Um, if you guys want to catch us on Twitch, right now we are streaming uh, a very special uh, Sekiro stream and uh, some Dark Souls and some Borderlands pre-sequel. Mm -hmm. So if any of that interests you, um, go ahead. Uh, link is in the description below. If you just want to hang out with us, that would be cool too. You can chat with us. We're super friendly most of the time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. You excited for the lawnmower simulator? Oh, so excited. <laughs> no, so I'm excited. No, it's my deal now. <laughs> if you, if you want to write the guide I'm, for I'm it, I'll let you. I'm stealing me some lawnmower I'll let you, simulator. I'll let you write the, the simulator <laughs> guides from now on. Oh, gosh. Uh, if anyone's a fan of Thief Simulator or House Flipper Simulator, ton of achievement guides for those on the channel. I really like the end of videos where we just kind of talk about whatever. <laughs> I guarantee no one's ever listened uh, to any of these. The statistics aren't there, but uh, maybe one day we'll we'll look back on these. Has, videos. A, has a bird ever pooped on you? Um, I don't think so. Definitely pretty close, like on the car. Yeah, you know? I've been close. I've been like walking down the street and like seen poop, yep. like out, fall out of the sky. But I've never had a bird poop on never me. Never on me. 
You ever had Szechuan sauce? Never either. So apparently it was a very big Rick I don't, and Morty thing. I, well, yeah, it was a big Rick and Morty thing. I don't think it was a big deal. I think that was just like a funny joke. And it was funny uh, when Rick and Morty did it. But now that every nine-year-old has seen it, I feel like it's, it's, Szechuan sauce. it's kind of lost its charm a little bit. Yep. Um. Well, should we yeah. just end the video? I, I guess so. This is an eight-minute eight achievement video, and <laughs> with our talking, it's probably like twelve. Ah, you know, it has a little flavor towards. I wonder if people are ever confused because sometimes we make like a minute-long achievement videos, which are maybe some of our best content. But then we make something like this, where like it's like sixty percent achievement video, forty percent <laughs> just rambling. Well, that's the that's the kind of gold you need. You know, it's like when you're waiting at the end of the cinema, going through all the credits. And who knows? There's just that one sneaky line. There. Right. We're the Mar we're the Marvel secret. I think it's because I secretly want to do a podcast, but I don't want to do the work of a podcast. And so this is like a way to just like kind of vicariously do one. It's, it's a hidden podcast, if you will. I yeah. Think we're trading yeah. The newest way. If you stitch them all together, it makes one complete <laughs> podcast. Ghost stories in there too. Okay. Bye.